So this is my stir plate 3000 that I got from brewgadgets.com and as you can see it is at setting 5 and getting me quite the vortex at 400 milliliters. However, I do want to take the time to show you a homebrewed one that we made for five dollars. So this is our homebrew setup that we built for five dollars and some spare parts out of the computer. You can see that we've got it on the half setting and you can see quite the vortex. This thing is really rocking out at uh, also 400 milliliters. We built a cooling system right here so that you can feel a really nice breeze here. We have it all hooked in through the potentiometer, which allows us to uh, cool the system off at the same rate that we're driving the fan. You can see the inner workings here a little bit. It's not very pretty to look at. We'll pretty it up later, but it is way more than just functional. I, I prefer it over any other stir plate that I've used. Um, you can see the cooling fan there in the back with the nice little LEDs. Uh, eventually we're going to build a cabinet incubator stir plate combo and I'll show you guys the uh, what we have for that. Uh, I just wanted to show you this and show you that uh, you can build a stir plate for yourself much cheaper and get a much better quality one than the ones that you can get online. Look at that thing go. Here, let's see how long it takes us to uh, throw the bar. Oh, there we, go. there we go. Turn it off and hit the rocker. There we go. Stir plate 3000. I figured I'd show you guys really quick how far we can crank this bad boy up to see if we can get it to throw the bar. And right now it's at setting 5. 400 milliliters of water, same as on our home brewed system. Let's see if I can do this without shaking the camera too bad. Crank her up. Oop, seven. We are now at half point point. So I'll throw it. We're getting quite the vortex. Nine. Ten. Oh, we're about to throw it. Well, at 400 milliliters of water, we can go full speed without throwing... Oh, no, there we go. Water caught up to it. Better cut that off. So the homebrew system may not be able to get quite the same level of vortex. However, for stirring cultures, we need just something kind of gentle. But, this allows us to... Uh, stir cultures for five dollars rather than the hundred and twenty dollars the stir plate 3000 cost me and it only works marginally better also they shipped it without a leg so now it has quarters but i would suggest building your own before you ever think about buying here is the homebrewed setup with a thousand milliliters of water and a beaker on a low setting, which is what we'd be most likely to use it for during culture stirring, just a low thing for a few minutes every day. However, I wanted to show you guys, whenever we pump this thing up, how fast it can go. Full speed. I may have to speak a little louder so you can hear me. But I have run it like this for a long time and it runs quite stable. Like this. Now this is not anything I know that I would want to use it at for any amount of time, but there we go. Alright, let's crank up the stir plate 3000. thousand milliliters of water in the same beaker. That's full speed. So at a thousand milliliters of water, 
we can get a pretty good vortex, fairly stable, for a good long time. But nothing quite like what we had on the home brewed system. Plus, let me show you something here. When we go down to the lower end, which is what we want to use for a culture stirring, we want to spin it really slow. We end up having stability issues. Just like that.